Hey everyone. Okay, so here's a little sneak peek of what you guys are going to see today. I'm going to be showing you how to remove armpit hair and how to make your armpits look beautiful. Stay tuned to the end to see the results and I hope you enjoy the tips along the way. I love you guys. Let's get started. On a daily basis, all I do to my armpits is use deodorant. It's really simple, but it's very important to use a natural deodorant. And if you haven't already made the switch, I encourage you to try them and don't think that they don't work because they really do. There's like so many brands out there. And what's really important is that your deodorant doesn't have aluminum in it. Aluminum is an active ingredient used to plug the sweat ducts which will literally stop your body from sweating, and it's also proven to cause cancer. It's kind of crazy that it's even allowed in deodorants, so look for ones that have no aluminum. Just like I remove my makeup every night, to take care of the skin underneath the deodorant, I always make sure that I remove it with a washcloth and some warm water. This will just improve the tone of your skin and keep your armpits looking fresh. Okay, so I grow actual hair underneath my armpits. I don't know about you, but I always like to wax it off. Now this is just not an option for me because if I shave, I get little black dots and my armpits look very dark. So I like to use a natural hard wax. This is very, very soft on sensitive skin and it's also really easy to use since it's hard. It doesn't get all sticky and it's really easy to clean up as well. You're going to need some popsicle sticks, a wax warmer, and I like these little accessories. These are little protective collars that go over top of your wax warmer. Mine is like six years old or like five years old. I've been using it so much. I got my money's worth out of this kit for sure. And then I'm going to put my wax over top of the wax collar so that it catches any of the spills that I make. And since hard wax hardens when it's cool, you can just flick it off the floor if you spill it anywhere. So now I'm going to turn on my wax warmer and wait for my wax to heat up. It's so satisfying to watch, so I thought I would include this time lapse of it. It takes maybe a little bit of time for the entire pot to melt, but what I do is I wait until the wax covers the entire pot, then I turn it off and I let that hot wax on the side melt the middle of the wax so that it's not all completely liquid. So there's like a big hard ball of cold wax in the middle, but as I wait and prep my armpit, I know that the wax will even out in temperature and it'll be ready to use. Whenever you wax, you have to make sure your skin is ready. So I'm going to take a washcloth and remove the deodorant, the sweat, anything that's on the armpit, the basic oils that your skin has, and just clean the area so that it's ready to adhere to the wax. You don't want your skin to adhere, but you want the hairs to be able to adhere. So making sure that there's no oil is really important. Next up, you can take cornstarch or a dusting powder like this one. This is a natural baby powder, and it's made of cornstarch with some essential oils. So really seriously, just save yourself some money and use cornstarch. I put this on top of my armpit, and then I'll just brush it around, and the oils will start to absorb this powder within 30 seconds. Now the sides of that wax have melted the middle, so it's all evened out to this nice cool texture and temperature, which is going to be nice on the skin. It should look something like pancake mixture or batter, and that's how you know it's going to be a good temperature for your skin. Now you have to pay attention to the direction of hair growth. Everything above the line grows upwards for me, and everything below that line grows downwards. When you're applying wax, always make sure it's going in the direction of the hair growth. And then when you rip it off, you rip it in the opposite direction. So let's just focus on applying it right now. We're going to take the wax and put it all the way down, covering the width of the hair and trying to get everything all in one shot. It doesn't always happen, but that's okay. I'm not a perfect waxer and today's application actually wasn't perfect. What I have to critique is that the edges of my wax are really thin, which makes it really hard to rip off. So I should have thickened up those edges and created what they call in waxing a lip so that when you go to flick it off, you have something to grab onto. One of the best ways to reduce the pain of waxing is to pull the skin really tight. So hold it tight with one hand and then start to flick up the edges. And I'm doing the best that I can. Again, my wax is really, really thinly applied and it should have been thicker. So it's kind of hard to rip off, but I'll pull one time, do half of the armpit, and then I'm going to take a deep breath because that was very painful. But I can easily get it done in two rips, which is really great. I have a lot of hair and it's very thick, so it's always painful for me. So you'll see there's little dots of blood forming. This is just at the end of the follicle since we removed all of it. It's going to have a little bit of bleeding depending on how sensitive your skin is. This is the only area on my body I get a little bit of blood when I wax. So I'll press on it and it will subside. You can see that there's a little bit of hair left, so I'm going to touch up with a little bit more wax and then rip it all off. It seems like the number one benefit to waxing your armpits is like you just won't have to do it for over a month. But my favorite part is that when you rip the hair off, if you guys can see here, there's little black dots on the end of each little hair that we ripped off. And what that tells me is that my skin is now free of that darkness. So the skin is going to look really fresh and even in tone, which is my favorite part of waxing. 
if I were to shave, I would still literally have little dots of stubble and it would look like I didn't shave for like half of a day. I have a gray cast whenever I shave and I also run the risk of getting razor burn. So you can see even just after I waxed, my skin is red, but it already looks really good. And this armpit I did three and a half weeks ago. So one of them is an older wax and you can see that there's a difference in the way they look, but they both look really fresh and good. Honestly, hair removal is always optional. Like seriously, I love people who rock their armpit hair, but look at this before and after. It looks so fresh in the after. This is the way I like to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for supporting my content. Everybody who watches my videos are like seriously blessed and amazing. I love you guys so much. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.